Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So, I gotta be honest, I have no idea what we're gonna do today. There was a chance of rain over the night, so we just kind of left it up in the air. If it did rain, I was maybe gonna haul some corn. And if it didn't rain, which it didn't, we thought maybe we could do some farming. So we've got some corn to patch in for replants. Uh, Dad did some rotary hauling yesterday on some corn that's kind of struggling to come up. We might do a little bit more of that. Um, we'll just have to see. So like I said, I'm not really sure what we're gonna get into today, but I'm just gonna start off this video up here by the pumps. Um, that video I released a couple weeks ago. At the moment, it's up to not quite 300,000 views. So that's awesome, thank you for that. Um, I didn't realize that video would be that popular, but there's a couple things I wanted to address. So that pump over there is the one that we were running off the M and it discharges right here. Now that the creek is dropped, you can see how big that pipe is. I misspoke in that last video. This is actually a 36 inch discharge pipe. I said 24, but it's actually a 36. Um, it'll run about half full when you're pumping water. I also said that that thing's rated at 19,000 gallons per minute, which it is. I really don't think we're pumping at that capacity. My best guess is somewhere between 10 to 12,000 gallons per minute. That just, that's just what it is. A lot of people had some commentary about that. Um, I liked reading through the comments to see what everyone thought. That's what we got for the pumps. Um, the other thing is, I had a lot of people suggesting that we should take that pulley off or cover it. We used to cover it, we just kind of got out of that habit and that's probably why that pulley blew up in that last video but we actually ended up buying two steel pulleys that will bolt right on there. So we're gonna put a steel pulley on that pump, that way we don't have to worry about it sitting out in the weather. Uh, steel should be fine, so. A few people also said they really like this truck. Um, it's actually not mine, it's my grandpa's truck. We just use it as a farm truck. Uh, it's a 1993 Chevy. It's got a 350, five-speed manual. Uh, about 193, 4,000 miles on it, but. It's just a good old truck. We really like having it around for the farm. It's something you can just kind of beat up a little bit and not have to worry too much, so. But yeah, it's a really good truck. Thanks for all the views on that pump video. That was really cool watching that go up. Um, I really had no idea that it would take off like it did, but thanks for that. We're gonna get into the rest of this video. So I talked to dad this morning, he went out and dug around in some corn to see uh, what seed was still viable and what was not, and he didn't have really great news. A lot of it is in pretty bad shape. So we got that big rain during uh, right before that pumping video, and then right after that we got another two and a half inches. So that corn sat underwater for a while and it just can't handle that for very long. So a lot of that seed just kind of died off, rotted, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to take this rotary hoe out in some fields that we think have a chance and kind of try and dry this ground up a little bit. It, uh, the problem with working ground and conventional tillage is when you get a rain and then it gets hot, it seals over and kind of forms a crust and it's really hard for that seed to break through. So what this rotary hoe does, it's got a bunch of spike wheels on it and it'll just kind of break up that crust and make it a little easier for the corn to push through the soil surface. So I'm going to get this thing going and we're gonna hoe a little bit of corn. Dad's going to check some other fields. So I'm gonna get out here and dig a little bit and see what we've actually got. Um, there's kind of a low spot right here where water sat for a while. I'm gonna dig in there and see if any of that seed is still trying to grow yet. Um, if anything, this hoe will just kind of dry it out. That way if we do have to get in here and replant, it'll be a little bit better condition. So let's dig, see what we've got. As you can see this ground has a pretty thick crust on it and it's just really hard for seed to push through on that. So here's a seed. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that or not but this seed is just kind of mush. So, uh, so none of the corn that's planted in this hole is probably going to come. Maybe a little bit might grow but I'm just 
I'm gonna run this hoe over it anyway to try and dry this out. Maybe later in the week we can get in here and start patching some corn in, which is no one's favorite job. Everybody hates patching corn, and it's understandable. We really don't want to be planting corn twice. The trick to running the rotary hoe is to get some pretty decent speed going. I'm running eight and a half miles per hour. That it does better with speed, so I just raised it up here for a sand hill. We don't really need to hoe that, but. Um, yeah, with auto steer, it makes it pretty simple. You can go pretty fast and still stay on the road. I got that field done. I'm gonna hop across this road um, to another field. This is some strip tilt ground. I can see a lot of the corn's growing and it looks pretty decent, but there's some low areas of the field that are kind of wet. Um, there's actually one pond where there's some water standing still. But uh, I'm gonna try and hoe that a little bit. I think we could probably get in here and do some replanting today. I pretty much know that what we got in the corner is not really going to be growing so i'm going to hold a little bit of that maybe i can air that ground out a little bit and we can get the planter over here maybe and spot in some corn so let's see what we got it's really hard to start replanting at this stage of the game i don't know if you well there's not much corn around here but there's some here see how small this corn is at this stage of the game the corn is barely up or still trying to come up so we can't really start replanting because we don't really know what we've got yet some of these spots we pretty much know that it's not going to come the water sat too long and it's just not going to grow but other areas where it's just thin kind of like right here which i'm sure is really hard to see on camera because the corn's so small we might just have to wait a week or so and see what comes up and what doesn't so i'm going to dig a little bit here and see if there's anything coming at all like I said, this is strip tilled ground. I really don't want to have to tear it up because it strips. Uh, we might just have to spend a good portion of the day patching here. So we're going to see what we got. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we got a plant there, plant there, plant there. There's just a big space in between them. Ideally, you want them six inches apart. Um, we want to shoot for a population of 32, 33,000. This is probably 20,000. I don't know if that. But right here, you got a little one trying to come through, got a little one trying to come through there. And that's what you can't see from the tractor cab is all those plants that are just about up, but not quite. So dig here, see if we've got any more. And if so, we'll just have to let this sit for a while and wait and see. See, there's a corn seed. As you can see, it's got a root on it. So this one is growing, it's just a little bit behind. So it's not ideal, but that I would say is better than replanting at this stage of the game because you really want an even emergence, which we're not gonna get at this point. Um, but if we replant, then those seeds are gonna be really behind the rest of the plants that are growing. If we let some of these other ones come up that are just a little bit behind that got planted at the same time, I think we'll be in better shape we might still get the planter out. There's some spots over there. I don't know if you can see those dark spots, but they are definitely not gonna grow. We're gonna have to patch some corn in there. And if we could do it today, we probably should because there's a chance of rain every day this week. So I'm gonna go and check a couple more spots with this tractor while I got it out here. And we'll go from there. So we already know that we've got probably a couple hundred acres or so that are just gonna have to get tore up and replanted. Um, and some of our earlier planted stuff that was already growing pretty well when that rain came. Um, when, the, when the seeds aren't quite germinated yet, they can handle water a little bit longer than when the plant's already growing because then it just completely floods them out, drowns them out, whatever you want to call it. But it really stinks when you have to replant corn. Nobody likes to have to do it, but you got to do it done hoeing for now I'm gonna run home and get my rhino that way I can go out in the field a little better and see what's going on if we can get some more replanted on the second farm that we planted so gonna go home and get the rhino got the rhino got it filled up with gas got lunch let's go check some fields
good collection of rocks. So this field, there's 24 acres here. It does not look very good. There's hardly any corn came up. Uh, this is a pretty heavy piece. It's been no-till for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I can, I can dig a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna find much, but I think I'm just gonna find a bunch of rotten seed here if I dig, but I might as well confirm my suspicions while I'm out here. Well, I don't know, there's, that one's trying to grow. I don't know, it doesn't look good. There's a lot missing out here. It's hard to tell what we've got. We really need to just let everything sit a week. We're just getting anxious because with this rain coming, we want to get it done now while it's fit, but I don't think there's much we can do, so. I figured I'd check this field while I'm driving by. Um, I just don't even really want to look at this anymore. So we're in the next field here. This one definitely looks better, but there's going to be spots like this where it's thin. This field's been planted long enough that whatever's going to come is already here. So I think I can get in here and start patching in some corn. Um, you can see behind me those rows up there are decent it's just all these low spots where it's just kind of thin um, if we leave this you know if you have a half a stand it's not going to grow very good corn so we're better off just coming in here patching in replanting all these holes i'm going to go see if dad's done over there or see what he's got planned uh, if he's done with the planter for now i might bring it over here and start patching well this is the field dad was going to be patching in looks like he's done I think I see the tractor up in the yard. I'm gonna go see what he's up to. All right, I'm gonna go patch some corn. Dad's gonna go hoe some more corn. We don't really, it's really hard to decide what to do when you're in this situation. Because we've got corn that needs to be tore up. Let's rock out. Sorry. We got corn that needs to be tore up. We've got corn that needs to be hoed, we got corn that needs to be replanted, we got corn that's probably going to need to be replanted, but we just don't know yet, so like I said, it's really hard to just pick a task and go do it, so I'm just going to replant the corn that I know needs to be replanted, dad's going to hoe some, and we're just going to have to do our best. We're in the field replanting got started I'm gonna get out here uh, when I get down to the end and see how my depth is this is really not a fun job it really 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 stinks but what do you do about it about an inch and three quarters that's pretty good I'm gonna keep rolling here monitor told me that row seven just ran out so go check that out see how the rest of the boxes are holding up i've replanted about seven acres so far barely made a dent in this field so not a fun job well i'm just about out of corn i've planted about 11 and a half acres here um I didn't really know how much was in the planter, but that's about what I had enough to do. So I've got to go, Grandpa's going to give me a ride. I got to go over to uh, Pro Harvest and pick up a box of seed. That's going to be for some stuff that we're probably going to tear up. The other seed that we buy, he's going to bring some bags out for us to patch in the morning. And um, yeah, this is really not fun but at least we're able to get in the field and get something done got a box of seed now I just got gotta open my tailgate 
Got to unload that, then hook my truck to the seed tender, put that box on the seed tender, and then I can go finish replanting. I bet this battery's dead. Wow. Well, I had a little bit of an issue getting the box out of the back of my truck. They pushed it in a little bit farther than my forks could reach, so I had to get a chain, and then I shut the tractor off, and then the batteries were dead. We've been having issues with that tractor starting. A little bit frustrating. Got the seed tender hooked up. I gotta take some empty boxes off of here and put that full one back on. Shoot, I'm in the way. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. The seed is loaded. We're headed back out to the field. I'm gonna probably just put 16 bags or 16 units worth in out of this box. Um, finish patching where I'm at and then we've got 24 acres or so the first field I checked with the rhino um, I need to talk to dad and see if he wants to work that first But we're just gonna plant We're either gonna tear it up or just replant the whole thing because there's not enough corn in there to really make a difference um, That one really kind of baffles me. I thought there'd be a little bit more corn there than that, but oh Well, it is what it is. It's already quarter after five and I feel like we haven't got much done today but I guess that's what happens when you go into the day without a plan. Uh, we couldn't really make a plan because of the weather that they were forecasting for last night. But we're just going to keep pushing. Do what we can. Planner loaded up, let's get back to business. Replanting is not fun. But I mean there could be worse things, I guess, like cleaning porta potties or something. There's definitely worse jobs, but I really don't prefer this one. So I'm going to jump out and show you if I can get the door open. So I'm going to show you why replanting is not fun. So if you look on this side of the planter, we, we basically have eight rows of nothing. There's no corn growing right here, there's just a few here and there. We go over on this side. We got eight rows of good corn. So the problem is, if I drop the planter down right now, shut off this side where the corn's good, those row units are going to wipe out all this corn. But I don't really want to tear it out because it looks decent. But if I drop it down, plant everything, it's going to tear everything out, replant this side which needs to be replanted. So it's just kind of a crapshoot. Sometimes you just gotta move over a little bit and try not to knock out the corn that's there, that's good. Other times you just drop it in the ground and know you're probably gonna tear it out, but you're putting a new seed in the ground. So all these decisions have to be made kind of split second. While you're going through the field in the tractor cab, I think I tend to be a little bit more aggressive and I just drop it down knowing that I'm gonna tear out the corn and get that new seed in the ground. But yeah, that's why replanting is just an awful job and I hope no one ever has to do it. It's one of those things where it would just be easier to just tear it all up and start over, but there's too much good here to do that. So we just, like I've said a million times in this video, we gotta do our best. I'm on the last pass for replants in this field. I'm gonna park the planter and get in the truck and go see what dad's got going on. Um, I 
can't remember if I told you or not, but he was going to get the field cultivator hooked up, I think, and maybe work a field that we're going to tear up. There's just not enough corn in there. So uh, he was going to work on that, I guess. But basically, the field's right down the road. I'm going to go down there and see what he's got going on. up replanting 32 acres out of that 90 so a third of the field and I had to drive almost every pass to get it all oh boy can't wait till this job's done I got a little bit of corn left like I said I'm gonna go see what dad's got going on and I gotta feel some raindrops it's not good I'm gonna go see what he's got going on and go from there. Well, it looks like dad's about done tearing this field up. Really stinks when you gotta tear up corn, but better to just start over when the fields look like that. Dad's gonna finish working this piece. Uh, we'll probably let it sit till morning before we plant it. You can't really go in right after you field cultivate and plant because the ground's still a little fresh and by that I mean it's a little bit damp and then it sticks to your gauge wheels and then you have uneven depth. So you got to kind of let it sit and air out a little bit and dry off on top before you can plant it. So we're gonna let this sit till morning I'm going to go home because I have some editing to do for, actually, it'll be the previous video to this one, but yeah, I'm going to go home and do some editing. That's really loud. But yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't because replanting is the worst. It's something that nobody ever wants to do, but we got to do it. Our, uh, our job depends on what Mother Nature throws at us, and she kind of threw a curveball at us, and we got to just deal with it. So, probably be doing some more replanting tomorrow unless it rains. We might get back in the field to plant some beans if it doesn't rain also. I know we've got two fields left that probably won't go, but we've got one field of beans that might go. So, we're going to do what we can, and... That's all we can do. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. YouTube knows that we have two eye dogs. I don't think so. You've all met Leah. That's Leah. This one's Luna. They're full sisters. Luna's a little bit more, what's the word? Nervous? Yeah, she's nervous, so Nellie. I don't get to take her with me as much. <laughs>